if that works, because that's a clever, simple solution. I mean, that's it's one of those things that's like, that makes sense that it would work that way if they allowed you to do it. See, that's why I don't like this room either. It's just like, well, gotta tiptoe your way all the way around, go no. Tiptoe your way all the way back. But unlike the character, which you have to play, that was my stupid option to go through that room. Nobody forced that upon me. That was just me being silly. So I know the general idea of what we're looking for, but I still don't really know where. I don't really know if this will be open. The other one then realized it was cheese and crackers. Always a good call, honestly. Yeah, still got some strong power. Okay, so we can't go wandering into the Fatal Frame 2 area right now. Good to know. Kind of his domain. Nope, something's here. something hostile is here, but there's also something that's a blue photo to take a picture of. Huh. I have questions. It was definitely like something happened that was like, there's an aggressive ghost here. But then there wasn't. Alright, game. Keep your secrets. Uh, three. We played two, like, two years ago, but recently enough I didn't replay it. Yeah, it's... It's all good. Like, not mad, I just had to remove it. I didn't know there were ways to do it that were quicker, easier. Where the heck are we supposed to go? Oh, I could have gone the other way in that uh, cross hallway. I didn't have to go up here. Yeah, generally speaking, unless people make it their actual username, generally not. Generally not what people are looking to go by. Wait, you're saying your name isn't Grim Heaper three two three? I feel like I've been lied to this entire time. I feel like I've actually been lied to the entire time. I, my entire worldview has been changed. Hmm. Oh, wait, no, we already went back here. We got the film. We can go through the projector room, I suppose. Which is somewhere. I've already lost all my knowledge of this map. Oh, projector room's down there. Wait, not here. Yes, here. I was right the first time. Oh, I don't know who Valdria is. Not by that name. Oh yeah, it's like... Yes. I'm not disputing that. We've known each other forever and have been friends since... Middle school? Middle school. And again, not mad, just had to delete that, and just make it known, don't do that. So, un... I think these are all new. Let's just watch them. Start with the pillars, because I know that's related to what we're looking for. One, two... Three... So we should be looking for all four of these guys, I assume. I've got bloodstains leading up to him, and then there's one big guy in the middle. I think I got where three of those were. I'm gonna watch it one more time just to. First one was where we saw the stuff. That's uh. Hmm. It's 
the room? Oh, I don't know that room off the top of my head. I know that spot. Oddly enough, it's a corner of the lamp in it, but like I'm pretty sure I know where that one is. Pretty sure I know where that is. And I'm like 50% I know where that is. See? The video room, yeah. You know, if that's the way you want to take it, that's the way you want to take it. I've made it as explicitly clear as I can that there was no animosity. I just wiped the message. But if that's how you're taking it, you do you. Oh, there's the, okay, that was the, the stabby gal. Hmm. There's something inherently weird about a film of the room you're in. Especially because there's, you know, a teleporting ghost in it, but besides that too. From here, that leads to that hallway. One of those rooms was there. Should check that, but I'm curious about the hallway too. Okay. Ah, frick. They explicitly showed me a ghost teleporting through here. Oh, it's Hammer Girl, okay. No, no, no. She likes to vanish and try to hammer your foot to the floor. Like she pops up from the floor and tries to just hammer and nail your foot to the ground. Yep. So if you can't spot her, that's a decent chance of where she is. Um, where the heck? There the heck. I mean, if she keeps going for that move, it's predictable. Damn it. I missed that one. That should have been a minute. Oh, I'm using type 7. Alright, well, I'll do some of this. Alright, missed because the wall. Oh, oh. Well, okay, that should have had me. I was trying to play by ear. You can usually hear left and right what direction she's in. Look, I don't know how to make it any clearer. I knew there was no malicious, malicious intent from your side. That was the way to clear the chat. I, It feels to me like you're trying to instigate a fight here, and I'm not going to fight. I made it as clear as I can that I understand there was no malicious intent from you, and I meant no retribution on my end, I just had to clear that from the chat. Uh, if you're taking it in a way beyond that from here, I, I don't know what else to say. Also, thank you so much, Malvin Earth, for the bits. Oh, it's a really another- oh my goodness. Okay, game. Uh, we're gonna run out of film. Can I just leave her? Can I just leave her? Because if she's gonna do two in a row, I need the points. I need the points. I need the points. If not for this camera, for heckin' K's. And I think I don't want my actual name posted in chat, so we're at an impasse here. I apologize if you take further offense to it, because there was no offense meant, but if that's how this is gonna go down... Sorry. I truly meant no offense by it. I know you meant nothing by it. I don't know a further way to make that more apparent. I'm gonna 
No, got that one. Missed that one. Alright. And we used all type 7 too, look at that. Okay, don't pop another one in the game. Alright. Uh, I don't think I've made my real name readily available. And if I have, then it's somewhere I should take it down from. It is for sure possible I've missed something, but... I'm sorry, game, to that you straight up instigating. Like, I. There was no offense meant either way, but. Or it's worth, sorry about that. I'm gonna have to go back and remember that before I upload it to Twitch. I'll probably just download it and edit out. It's the easiest way. Um, already lost my placement for the other one. It's there. Down the hallway to the right. Okay. Yeah, it's life goes on. It's it is what it is. Sort it out. But I agree, not the time nor place here. There's ghosts. Lots of ghosts. No llamas. It would be not gonna lie. Ghost llama would be kind of scary. A little bit. Yep. See. Yeah. See. Ghost llamas. Another friendly room. Another friendly room. The door is shut tight. Feels like something is pushing against it from the other side. What it stands for? Continue under the door. Alright, so go to it from the... Don't go the easy way. Go the long way. But that's fair. What's the long way? Arthrum... Oh, wait, we can... Hmm. I don't really know the longer way around. We could either cut through there, but that door is locked. This door's been locked for a while, but maybe we find the key for it. Hmm. Well, there were other ones we were looking for anyway. They might have the answers we seek. So we'll go looking for the other ones. Uh... gonna go up there again and if I'm just wandering around for another five minutes on that spot I'm not gonna be mad but I'm just gonna be like come on game why did you do this we'll give it a go we'll give it a go oh, oh this busy remembered related huh oh that's fair I should put that under the, the commands thing might be linked to my actual Google Drive. That might be. It might show, like, this belongs to so-and-so. But I should separate that to a different account. Keep the same text, but... Separate it. I hadn't thought about that because it doesn't show it to me. That might be it, though. Hmm... Yeah. Again, I don't see anything on it. It doesn't show me anything. That might be the one. That's the only thing I can think of. I don't use Google Drive, like, at all. So. I'm going to keep that tab open just to remind myself later to see if I can look into that. Oh, something from Viperland that has a name on it. Oh, that... Okay. Yeah... 
but hmm, I'll look into that later. It, now is not the time for me to be going into it, but that's probably true. I probably, <laughs> do you know what it is? I'm pretty sure, I only have like five things on my Google Drive because I don't use it often. One of them <laughs> is my resume, and I forgot that other people might be able to see that. I just had it there for easy printing, so... Note to self, separate things. I'm going the wrong way again. I, I know the area I'm trying to get to, I'm just taking all the wrong paths to get there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. no. That's cool, that's fine. Um, I don't know how to separate those things, but I'll find a way to do that. Again, just off camera. By the time this hits YouTube, it'll be fixed, so. I appreciate the heads up, man. Like, it's... It's just something most most streamers don't make their their real name a known thing. And I feel like at some point... Well, it's like, so far, most of the people I would have on stream that know me IRL... Uh, most actually prefer to- Oh, this is such a bad place for a fight. Refer to me as Viper. Like, off stream too, so it's never been an issue coming up. And realistically, if it was just my first name, you know. I didn't pop my last name into chat. That's, that's a bit much. First name you can't do much with. You get both, suddenly, Suddenly, that's personal info. Now, it seems really tough to fight her here, but oddly enough, I think, honestly, you move about as quick when zoomed in as you do normally. Art Viper and AS, I know, right? And I used to have my PSN account, my real name, until I started streaming things that would show the PSN account. I went, oh, I should change that. So I did. Now I think it shows Viper AS stream or something like that, or Viper AS Viperland, something, something along those lines. Oh, whereabouts are you in the 14 end? I, double betrayals. Your name isn't Grim. Heeper 323. I assumed Grim first name, last name 323, middle name Heeper. Yeah, like. Outside of when I'm streaming, either name works. There are plenty of people who call me by my real name, there's plenty of people who call me by my stream name. It's just a nickname I've used for a while, and I'm perfectly fine with either IRL. How do we do this one? I know what I need to do. I need to move them enough times that their countdowns reach zero. But if I move that twice, it locks there, which really limits what I can do. So in theory, if I do that, I can't do that, yeah. That's gotta be... It's got to be this way. Yeah. I got it. It just took me a second. I was looking at it from the wrong starting point. Now we're good. Cool. Happily head up. Yeah, that's true. There's always got to be... Sometimes you need the number. All right, Talos. Heck, oh, yeah. It's good. It's a lot of good stuff in Shadowbringers, but yeah. That's, uh... Yeah, it's the first try. Mm -hmm. Definitely first try. Totally first try. Oh, wait. I opened it and it didn't go through. Mm -hmm. Film Commandment. I don't remember what we need from this room. People. Not enough blood. Need more blood. That's a happy looking scene, right? 
Nothing unusual here. We above. Oh wait, no. Let's go. Damn it! Waste of film. On the map, what are we? Hmm. There's something down there. I don't even know how we'd get there. Oh, probably through that door. Probably through that door. I don't know what's going on down there, but it's not pleasant. A small room above the roof beams, I could see into a room with a huge Buddha statue in it. It looks like a person hung from the statue where a woman carried out a kind of ceremony. Yep, that's about what it was. Blood for blood lilies? Uh, maybe. I can't ask scholar, by the way. I have a few 80s now, and I do actually mean a few. It's scholar, summoner, but I don't know how to play summoner. Dancer and... Oh yeah, I got all healers. So all healers and dancer are my 80s. But I still consider myself a scholar main. Like, it was my first, you know, it's my first battle 80. So I guess I suppose I could consider myself a fisher main, but a casual fisher main. Ramen's the actual does fishing, catches cool fish. I go, I cast my line. Another spider. All right. Track him down. Maybe grim from now on, yeah. Like, I know the regulars here wouldn't obviously do something like that, but you hear stories of people getting, like, doxxed and their info getting out, and, like, people send in, like, FBI to their homes or, like, suspicious packages, and it's just like, I, I don't want to, I don't want to deal with any of that stuff. And, like, I know the regulars here aren't going to do that. Well, you never know who's lurking, and especially stuff I'm going to send to YouTube, that stays up forever. I went the wrong way again, didn't I? I do apologize for my absolute lack of direction tonight. I swear I'm usually a little better at directions than this. For what it's worth, it's a dream mansion, and it's kind of intertwining, but I keep going the wrong ways. This should lead us around. If I'm smarter this time than I was the last. Because he was in the, the cross hallway, which should be right down here, right? No. 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 Yeah, a bunch of the ghosts aren't actively like... They're not after you because they're bad. They're literally just like, some stuff went down. We were stressed out. We died. Um, now we're haunting this place. Like, for quite a few of them, it's not really like they're intentionally bad. Like these guys. Clearly just a victim of stuff that went down here. But, you know, that that's how ghosts can work sometimes. Where are they? I don't think these guys teleport much, actually. I think these specific types of ghosts don't tend to like, phase behind you like some of the others. I uh, missed, but... Still using my garbage film, too, but I don't want to run out of stuff. If we start running out, I can leave. Like, I can run away from a bunch of ghosts. I can also, if I find an exit point from the manor, theoretically, if I can get back there, that restocks our film too. Oh, which I... No, I can't. Guys need to maybe die. Maybe kinda. Kinda soon. I don't trust the guy with the weapon because he'll do more damage. Like the bare hand guy is like, uh, he's not barehanded actually. 
just bad at this. Yeah, it goes have a habit of doing that. It's just reliving the stuff. Yeah, exactly. Don't get me wrong. There are certainly spirits around here that are actively like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, yeah, no. Want to hurt people. What I was doing when I died was hurting people. I want to keep doing that forever. But there's a lot that are just like, victim circumstance. And if these guys were sacrificed and then mummified within the walls, victim of circumstance. I missed. Oh, I was gonna say so did he, but hello, friend. You were close. Yeah, not not close enough, but close. Yeah, if you get good at comboing photos and better circumstances, like a, a long corridor without any like walls to block it. You can combo it for ways. How is our setup going? 622. Mm. We actually have quite a bit of 14. The 14 I'm not too worried about. Which is better? We should be looking in slightly more nooks and crannies than normal. I was just saying because it did. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this game, well, the Wii U one is in Smash. Wait, no. Or is it Miku? Is it Fatal Frame 1? I think it's the Wii U one. The Twins. Oh, okay, that would... Like, I see it pop up, but I don't actually pay attention to, like, what it is at that rate. Hmm. There's whispering in a dead air well. It's too low to make out, but it's there. Uh, Koei Tecmo makes made Fatal Frame. At, or Koei at the time of this game, I believe. I don't know if they still make the newer ones. The newest one, to the best of my recollection, is Wii U. Where is it, Tecmo? Yeah, my poster says Tecmo. This game said... So it must be... Yeah. Uh, you can't see it, but off-camera I have a poster of Fatal Frame 2. You know what? Yeah, right up there. Fatal Frame 2. It's hard to make out, but... Way back when I used to work at GameStop in high school, uh, and they had a stack of Fatal Frame 2 posters with Sai on them, because... Oh, hello, game. This is more of a... They couldn't hang the posters because there was a stack of like three to four of them. I don't remember exactly how many are there. And they got water damaged. Not terribly, but to the point where like the corners are a bit weird. They're stuck together. Uh, and I was like, yes, I'll take those. Uh, I would argue it actually makes it cooler that it's a little like a little bit water damaged, a little bit like wrinkled and crinkled. So we know there's something in this room, but I don't know where. Oh, it's there. Okay. Oh man, this is such not a place to fight either. Oh no. This is not an ideal battleground. Just go for bigger hits to try and end this one quick. Ah, oh, I should have comboed. All my fault, never have survived to be blamed, that's the best way. No quick turn here either. Oh, missed it, okay. Yeah, it, it works thematically for a horror game. And high school, high school me working at GameStop was good for some things. I discovered some games I never would have otherwise. I never would have played, uh... Nocturne, if I wasn't working there and saw the now infamous sticker of featuring Dante from Devil May Cry, legitimately was a reason. Uh, there was some... I ended up buying a lot of DVDs when I was there, because a lot of stuff would get traded in that just wasn't in the system, and it was like... a dollar. And I'd be like, yes, I would buy that for a dollar. 
And so that's the whispering. It wasn't coming from the well. Yeah, so that's the whispering. We just gotta find what that is. Like, it's gotta be there, right? Like... We can't open it, but that's got to be where the voice is coming from. Hmm. Okay, so where do we go from here? If we're trying to get to that area, cutting through here might be nice, which is... Over there? Over there. Oh yeah, it's it absolutely became a meme which helped. But at the time, I had no idea what the Shin Megami Tensei series was, but I really liked Dante from Devil May Cry. And seeing oh, damn it, that's gonna suck. There's my ankles. One of the clips they showed in like the promotional stuff was Dante jumping off the building. Yeah, it was Devil May Cry 2 Dante design, but it was still pretty badass for the time. Younger Viper was like, damn, I like Dante, I like that scene, it looks cool. Uh, his actual role in the game is minimal, but I ended up loving the game. So it kind of worked out nicely. <sighs> you'd figure I would have gotten it the second time after seeing him do it once. You'd figure I'd learn. Mm -hmm. I finished the play bad. Oh, okay. Funky mode? What's it? Black funky mode? Oh, okay. Yeah, that's true. Even Monster Hunter World, technically, it's the Dante outfit. Yeah, Dante's design was cool. Every other part of the game was subpar. But the design for Dante was cool. In my opinion, not as cool as some of the subsequent ones, but I won't sit back and be like, no, it sucked. It didn't. It was pretty cool design. These guys. Now I just gotta remember to aim down and we're fine. I'm gonna cheat. Yeah, show that wall. I. It's not my favorite, but I won't sit by and be like, oh, it's bad. It's not a bad design. I got a lot of bad stuff to say about Devil May Cry 2. His design ain't one of them. I aim down, he's still gonna get me. Oh, this game is gonna ruin me. So yeah, once you start getting hit, the game doesn't necessarily pull punches. I'd argue we're maybe about halfway through the game, be my estimate. And like, they're starting to throw guys at you that have weirder movements and take like half your HP when they hit you with those weirder movements. Oh, now you don't? Okay. That's... that's nice. Hey, we got him. So, was that the first time we saw that? That might have been the first one, unfortunately. Alright. Yeah, M M M uh, Moria? Moria Tome 2. When building or repairing the Kuze Shrine and the Last Passage, all the carpenters of the Moria family, except for their leader, must be prepared to stay behind, never to return. Excluding the one who exceeds in their craft, all the carpenters must fulfill their duty to protect the secrets of the shrine by being buried at the sacrificial pillars lining it. The remaining Moria carpenters must become the master builder, and ensure that the craft is carried on to the next generation. So everybody has to die but one person who carries things on and doesn't tell the secrets, I guess. Until another time where people have to build and... Yeah, I don't think she's relevant to this right now, but I'm gonna go to her spot, because... Clearly the game is like, nah, go to the, go to the plane chick.
Hey, Neo Dingo one thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the Berlin of the Chat. Scared the bejesus out of me. Hope you're doing well on this fine evening. I'm gonna go save first. We're really low on film. We might have to take a little diversion to stock up a little bit, because I know there's some scattered about. But at the very least, I want to save now that we got here and make it so that it's fine. Just in case I muck it up, which, let's be honest, like 50-50 chance. We're close enough to the beginning of the, the house, we could theoretically go and wake up to reset our inventory and come back. So if this doesn't go well, we'll just do that. If they let us. Because I kind of get the feeling we're going to have to fight the, the airplane survivor here. I know, it's subtle. There's another line there, they're doing the lullaby too. Clearly stuff coming from this room, but I'm not seeing how to do anything with it. It's not... It's definitely here. It's definitely that room. Hmm. There's nothing directly above it or below it. I don't really know how to get in there. It might be an important person's room. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it might be. Alright. Well, then... Maybe I was wrong? Seems like the game is going full on. You're gonna have to do this now. Does the doll look at this game? Because that was creepy. Nope, just the one time. Alright, well, I tried. Not to say nothing will jump us on the way out, mind you. It's gotta be coming from here, though. Like, there's no other... Hmm. That's definitely where the stuff's coming from. Alright, well, I guess we just got some whispering following us. Is the lantern dim? Okay, cool. Uh, lanterns that are in areas where you can also have hostile spirits, they go dim when there's something hostile after you because you can't save when you're being attacked. But, but it was hard to visually tell. In 2, it's a little more visually obvious. Oh, uh, maybe it's down here. Because right now, we're in the room right below where we were. I'm hitting the wrong buttons, too. Yeah, this is right below where we were. So maybe it is here. Something changed up against sliding doors. Okay, so something in there. Sound of the radio seems to be coming from the side of sliding doors. Yeah, sounds like a radio to me. Oh, here we go. That's what it's supposed to do. Something said something for the real world. Hmm. Suddenly very quiet. The absence of sound being really noticeable. Mm. No, that's not it. Hey, you want pizza? 
Suddenly it's not so quiet anymore, I suppose. <laughs> Whew, boy. Alright, alright. Thank you. That's yeah, some moments just set up for it. So I haven't been checking as much like miscellaneous stuff. But I need to check a little more because we're low on film. And sometimes it's like, oh, underneath was some film. Usually in like dresser drawers and stuff like that. So I do have to check some more miscellaneous stuff. Though we're right near the entrance now. Maybe I can just just straight up leave. Like this is the entrance hallway. Oh. Hello. Oh, that's not what I Alright, well. Got six film left. That doesn't seem to count as a thing I can take a picture of. Even though that's clearly spooky. Oh, missed it. Okay. Three shots left. I can just book it to the exit if it doesn't work. We're right there. Alright. I hope it's just him. I assumed someone else they would have hit me by now. Oh, I forgot that slowing them reduces your... Uh-oh. Uh also forgot that slowing takes an ammo. Holy crap, about that. Hell yeah. Time to leave. Well, not what we needed, but also not unwelcome. Aha, uh -huh, blood going that way. Use me, my body, as a sacrifice. Yeah, we'll do that. But we need ammo first. They don't make this super apparent in the game, <laughs> that this is a mechanic. But when you leave and come back, you always start with a baseline of materials. So anytime you can get to that front door and leave to wake up, it doesn't really progress things. The house has still got that sound. Old film on the camera. So let's go to the musty film stuff while we're here. Still really curious as to what's making that sound, but I don't know. I feel like we checked all logical areas, right? Checked Miku's room. We didn't check the roof. Of the attic. Technically, we haven't checked the attic since the sound started playing. But it's not super, like, louder here. I swear it's more louder downstairs. And the attic's literally that. Like, that's... That's the extent of attic. still think that's a huge attic. They could have had another floor to this house. No problem. You can't even hear it up there. You can hear it down here, though. And letters. I'm just looking for something that might proc that. Maybe it's just spooky ambience. It's entirely possible it's just spooky ambience, but... I feel like usually when there's, like, hints of spook, that means something... It's usually visual, visibly there, and all we've seen so far is just the extra mold spot gotten bigger. Garden drizzling. And it's still weird that there's just a slight extra sound here. Almost like the sound of like running water from a distant room. Or like a fan on in the distance. It's only next to these two appliances. Which don't seem to do anything.
<laughs> also hearing the occasional like something like a step a door closing something I'm probably just wasting my time. Nobody inside the toilet. Just the stuff, table. I swear we looked in the closet already, right? I swear we looked at all these before. No, that's the closet, actually. No kitty this time. No. We've checked everything I can think to check. Let's just do the film. Crowd of people standing around Yoshino Takigawa, apparently berating her for something. Maybe they are connected to her accident somehow. Yeah, and we see all those people as like shadowy figures. Whenever we're doing, whenever we fight her. That's just spooky ambience. All right, I'm gonna talk to Miku. Be like, hey. Maybe look into this photo if you can. If you can't, then, uh, I don't know. Go back to sleep. Yeah, the spooky ambience is, like, just... just enough. It's not in your face. It's not super noticeable, but it's just there enough. Katie. Ray? What's the matter? I also like how no matter what time of day or night, she's not asleep either. It's raining again. Yes, it is. Can you look into this photo? No. Should we look through her stuff? Probably not while she's watching. Just, it so makes me think that there's something there to look for, but... True. Hard to sleep when you try to and you go back to that mansion. Yeah, I can imagine how that would be slightly challenging. Alright, so we didn't do anything of consequence other than the, the film, so we're just gonna not worry about a save again. It's the same intro. The intro is different per chapter. Kinda giving you a hint of what might go on in that chapter. Um, we need this guy to show up again, though. It's actually important for him to show up. We, we have to take him down. Cool. Use me. Good. My body as a sacrifice. Wonderful. I was worried. I was stuck on something. I was worried he wasn't going to spawn. Oh, you're going to be one of those dipsy doodles, right? Nope, you're not. I could have had him. I thought he'd be on the wall. I was going to sleep. Yeah, no worries. Thanks for hopping by. Hope you enjoyed some ghostiness. Sorry it was a, a lot of time spent wandering around with a guy who can't fight, but, you know, it's part of the game. Old books have been left behind where the ghost was. Moria Tome 4. The Rift Shrine makes the priestess wander for eternity. Great. And stakes must be used to impale her limbs while praying for her peaceful rest. When the priestess is restless, it is necessary to build onto the Shrine of Sleep and pray for her to slumber. The Shrine of Sleep is sealed within a dream to prevent the Priestess from escaping and the spread and the spread of the Rift. To keep the Rift from spreading, we must ensure that she stays staked down and pray for her eternal sleep. So, somebody unstaked her? Yeah, I, this one always... 
Like, it looks like it should be a photo of something, but I'm pretty sure it's technically not a photo, like, for the ghost list or anything. Hold on. Considering we've been getting attacked a lot. One of these had herbal medicine? Or not. Alright, well. Rip me. So I can hear stuff this way, obviously. I can hear things, but I want to check this direction because it might work. Yeah. Get better after a while, though. I really don't remember much of him, other than that one set of four rooms that go in a square. Where there's a lot of, like, scripted stuff you have to do while hiding. I guess, spoilers, it's a teasers for content to come. I don't really remember the rest of it, and... I don't remember hating him, I remember hating his segments. He is a character, there's nothing wrong with him. But he's not the twins. And he has the least fun gameplay. It's not it's not that I despise the character or anything, but like it's just how it goes. He ends up being the weak part of the game. Door is locked. I actually didn't know we had the bellflower key. Cool. Well, open now. That's good they pointed me up here because I would not have tried that. Legitimately. Would not have tried that. Do we have to fight one of the kids? One of the stake maidens? I don't know what they're called. The hammer and jabber. Some kind of record since we filled in names and numbers. The lithograph stone lies on top of the scroll as a paperweight. Cool. Don't know where that one goes yet, but I'm sure we'll find it. Part for the camera obscura. Blast. Oh, blast is good. Damages and slows. Damage increased with level. Uses to inflict more damage than a normal shot. Makes two spirit points, and it just blasts them with a bunch of damage. Further, if you shoot in the fatal frame, it has the effect of slowing how fast the ghost is repelled back. Thus, it becomes easier to perform a combo. The higher level, the more damage you inflict on the ghost. It's a great one. I feel like I usually just have that equipped for the rest of the time. Like, it's just good. It does take two, but whatever. I also have a lot of upgrade points. Should we upgrade her camera more? We have enough to max her max value. Hmm. Or to put one point in either of the other two. Uh, one max damage. We're bringing her just max pew pew really early. We're gonna have to do sensitivity so we can feasibly get there on most things. From here I can see another room downstairs. Maybe this will put here so people could observe what's happening below. It should still need film as, yeah, as well as the other stuff. Image is something. It should need the spirit power and film. Well, I'm not 100%. I still should, though. I'll check that when I use it, because I do have two power already. So I may as well check it out. Yeah, there's a part of the wall is broken and can see through into the next room. The other side of the hole is blocked by the back of a chest or some piece of furniture. Tried pushing it, can't budge it at all. Understandable. Maybe we can get around some other way. What other way? Uh, don't know from here. From there? Oh, that's from, okay. That's from the Fatal Frame 1 side. Leads into there. Okay. Interesting. Oh, hey, shiny. Teen film. Yes, thank you. Oh, oh no, not a dead end door. Might be locked, but yeah, it's locked. Well, got film. It's like every night in chapter you just unveil more and more of the place and it just becomes more of a maze. Thankfully the map works. 
It's not the best map in any like horror game, but it's far from the worst either. It's serviceable. What did that get us? Oh, it got us the spirit stone with the three on it. That's the blast, which is really good. And it let us know that we might be trying to get into that room at some point. We need to get this door open. Yeah. So that door leads directly to there. We need to get there. That exact square. There. No, that door is locked. I was going to say we could go around up there, but that door is locked. Hmm. They only lit up blue the rooms you've been to this trip into the dream. I don't think I've gone up here this time. So the fact that I left to refill ammo does mean it unmarked everything on the map. Which is a little unfortunate. Also not the end of the world though. I can hear a little bit of whispering in the distance, but I'm not sure where. I'm not sure if it sounds directional or not. Nope. Something happened that I didn't catch. Oh, the lantern is out. You cannot save right now. Yep, something's gonna attack. Or it's not? If the lantern's out, I want to be here and see what it... Okay, so I probably missed something. In the meantime, we'll save. side of this room. Well, like for sure the lullaby is coming from that room. Specifically. Okay, game. I guess the taking out of the camera rocked her to get up. Yeah, so the blast does take a, an ammo, but uh, it's strong. It's strong. too bad at all. Oh, but it doesn't... Oh, it doesn't actually give us a photograph. It takes ammo, does a huge amount of damage, but it doesn't actually give us a photo. I was going to see how many points it got us. But it doesn't. Interesting. Okay. Well, this is a dead end. I mean, we're running out of dead ends to check, but a lot of the other dead ends are, uh, got to walk a little ways back. I feel like it's the backtracking and K that really hold this game back from being as good as two. Mm. No. 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 No, thank you. Not to say two and one didn't have backtracking. One was a smaller mansion, so there was less backtracking because there was less of it. And two was kind of a bunch of smaller houses interconnected by village pathways. Not to say there was never any trekking between 
the different houses, because sometimes you'd have to get something from one house to another, but pretty rarely. Generally speaking, if you were in one house, you were probably going to continue doing stuff in that house till that house was pretty much done. Again, some exceptions, of course. Didn't go down the down... No, we didn't go up the up staircase over here. Already gonna be something attacking me? Sounds like combat. Could just be the sound of the area, though. I don't think we went up here at any point in this chapter. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Nothing. Well, this leads us out to the rooftop, right? Hmm. No items there, but we'll check this door even if we gotta tiptoe across. Really, one of the characters is a command taunt. Huh. So they're the Dan Hibiki. Basically. Or kinda. Interesting though. I I like the concept of command taunt. You hear that from here too. That's how we get down to it. Yeah, this has gotta lead down to the, the sleeping room, right? No. Not really. No, we are pretty close, actually. That's where the lullaby is. Oh. oh, we're actually kind of far away, aren't we? It's coming from that direction. I mean, it's close, but it's... Mm. Still seems like we're further away and up a floor, but I guess sound carries to these places. Let's be honest here. It's a counter? Okay. Don't sleep over the missing of characters. Alright. Oh, yeah, if you're doing it against a dummy, there's no way to know. I like taunt counters, those are fun. Yeah, this, no part of this place looks soundproofed. In fact, anti-soundproof. Thin walls, creaky everything. It sounds like you could probably hear one person sneeze from a, like halfway across this place. Easily. Well, I mean, you saw me and Potions doing Beelzebub uh, dittos. No, Belial, not Beelzebub. Dittos. His counter is just the mockingly come at me, bro, towards the opponent. Yeah, yeah we're, we can't move that, so someone else will move it. I feel like we've safely checked off everything. No? I don't want to take out the camera. I'm, I'm mashing the interact button. I want to leave. 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 I would like to get out of here. Please let me leave. This is not a place I want to be. Why are you running away? Can I leave? Can I please go? Can I get out of here? Please. Can I not be here? Real talk, I don't remember that at all. At all. Actually don't remember that. 
Like, legitimately, I don't remember that one. That was good. I like that. That was creepy. That was creepy. <laughs> Unlike 1 and 2, I've played this one less time, so I definitely, there's things like that that like, oh, I forgot about, like, I don't remember that. <laughs> oh, man. So from here. And corridor. I think we've had two of the dudes we needed to find, right? We had two of them burn up a talisman, and drop a book. Oh yeah, there's that plant root, tree root. Yeah, it's a hand. It is a hand. It doesn't look like a hand, it's a hand. I think this is just locked, right? Negative. Oh, it's this one, duh, okay. Oh, how I always forget this leads here. No, after seeing the other thing that was there, I don't, I don't wanna be there. Okay, he's not one of the ones we need. Oh, look at how many runes we can fill. Too early, that's okay. Still a pretty decent combo. I'm using my garbage film. We're gonna do 134 and we're just gonna blast him. No, he doesn't even need it right now. We'll save that for the next guy. Try and one-shot him. Bad shot, but whatever. <sighs> Heckin' walls. Your worst enemy in this game, a wall. Yeah, come this way, away from that wall. Okay, we'll just die, that's good too. I wonder if there's anything hiding back here. Nope. So we passed through this room already. We saw the other guy. I think he was going this way? Maybe? Whatever we have to do is definitely on... I consider that like a separation point of the castle, basically. Like that area there kind of separates these. So whatever we have left, we've checked all the areas that aren't in this area. So it's got to be somewhere around here. No matter of where. Or we find a key to unlock a door from previously. Like that's possible too. Every time we pass through the projector room, we get attacked by that little girl. I'm gonna go through... Well, this isn't the projector room. All the sounds here stopped. This will still be blue, but it's gonna show me that I gotta take down a few of those white-robed dudes, that's fine. I can go back to the projector room and maybe see those other rooms, but I don't know if that's going to help me any right now. Could you be yeah. Can we visually see the ones we've taken down? Not really. Not really at all. What the heck are those other two? If it was just one, I'd be like, well, I'm just a fool. If it's two, I'm definitely missing some big obvious thing. Like, we'll go into a room and they'll be like, it's over this way. And I'm like, ah, it was a fool. It was over that way. I know it's not here. This is the room we spawned in. I keep coming in here. 
It's worth just checking to see if there's any more ammo or something else. No. Nope. We might not be making as much progress tonight as I had thought. Well, that's how these games go. Towards the end of them... Uh, we're not even quite towards the end. What chat? I don't know if there's a quick way to check what chapter we're on other than saving. That's fine, too. Alright, continuing on. Closet scene, though. That was... That was definitely... I gotta admit, I haven't really been scared most of the time of doing this. Just be, not because it's not a scary game to me, it's just... I do it a few times, but... That bit got me. That bit was straight up just now. Hmm. Except with strong power still. Okay. Mr. X, indeed. This just leads around there. This just loops over this side. But maybe there was something we missed over here. Medicine. I'm pretty sure the medicine just respawns at set, built, at set places. This goes to projector room. Yep. Oh, did we do commandment yet? I don't think so. No, we did that one. Yeah, we did that one. The girl again, I bet you. Yeah, she just wants to fight in here, and I just don't wanna. If she follows me, I'll fight her. I got no problems in fighting her. I just don't wanna waste the ammo right now. I did check that door. I feel like I've almost checked everything now. Assume this door's locked. Oh, this, yeah, this one's being held by the other side. Unless it's not now? Oh, the force that was holding it closed is gone. Okay. Well, whoops. That opens up some stuff. In order to keep the rift from opening. Gotcha, gotcha. Gotcha again. That's number three. Easy peasy. I just hadn't checked that. Looks been left behind where the ghost was. Number one. Top shrine carpenters have been gathering together to seal the Kuze shrine into the depths of a great cavern so that not even a single ray of light can enter into the darkness. Then, you must erect a shrine of the rift in front of the great cavern using spirit trees as the core pillars, and with sacrificial pillars arranged so that the darkness is purified and the rift cannot leak into the world. Cool. We get to open up the mail pinata? Yeah. It's a fun fight, honestly. And the only Shadowbringers EX I've done. Special ability Flash. Ray Kurosawa's special ability. We're not Ray Kurosawa, though. Wait, no, we, never mind. So, Red Ray thought K. It's fine. Repels Ghost, banishes Weak Ghost. Pressing Circle, you can use the Flash and Repel Ghost. When flash repels a ghost, you may get a shutter chance, but some ghosts are immune to the repelling effects. When you've been caught by a ghost, if your timing with the circle button is good, you can evade the attack. When awake from a dream, your flashes are restored to max capacity. The higher your level, the higher your max capacity. So, we only have a finite number of them, but they're really helpful. Really helpful. I feel like I've only actually done that dungeon, like, twice. Like, the storyline time through, and, like, one other time. That's locked. Nope, now it's not locked. Now we can just pass through. Now we're back at the very beginning. Cool, good to know. 
That's finally opened. I guess the force that was holding it ain't. We only need one more dude. Wherever the dude may be hiding. Yeah, see, I knew we had to be here. Check the upstairs first, because it's a smaller spot. No doorways or anything. Nothing here. Okay, can't even see nothing there. That's fine. Every time I hear the disc get read, I'm like, ghost, is something coming? Just that little, like, of the disc. It's like, what are you loading? What, what, what's the matter? Don't kill me. More film. Ooh, yeah, more film. Thank you. The hardware tried to spook you too? Yeah. Like, you, 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 I heard you load something. What did you load? Why is it going to murder me? It's something I didn't realize I... Because I have quite a few digital games on PS4. And so many games on PS4 just install the whole game to your hard drive anyway. And, like, the disc isn't actually used for anything other than, like, copy protection, basically. Which, whatever, cool. No skin off my back, but, like, I feel like that's something that you just don't get as much lately. It's like the, oh, it's reading something, like... Or there's definitive, like, loading screens where it loads, like, a ton of stuff. So you get that, like, seamless, it's not loading anything going on. Seamless strong power. Oh, we're running out of areas to check again, so the last guy's got to be hiding somewhere. We still got a few left. We got two other doors other than up here, I think. We got to be narrowing it down. I should be reading the flavor text, but I'm just looking for useful items right now. So that got pushed aside. Nothing we do there. Oh yeah, this room. Yeah. It's it's got that like double whammy of the flickering lights, but also it's a really tight corridor with a lot of places for ghosts to hide. It makes it a little trickier to fight anything around here. It's kind of a, one of those corridors I don't like going through. Just because it makes the battling inconvenient. But thankfully we don't have to go up here right now. Goodbye. Now, when we go back down here, I'll check the, the map, because we got to be narrowing it down. And maybe when we go down these stairs, we'll check it. We didn't check that door. That might actually be about it. Can't get into there. Can't get into there, that's a weird one, but like, I get it. Can't get into that futon room. We'll check it. I don't know if that door is going to open for us. Because that leads to Miku's area of the map. I don't know if they're going to let us into there. But in theory, it would work for us. Oh, okay. 
Yeah, it's super weird being in the rope hallway as anyone else. Which also means there's a save point over here. Also something else over here. And perfectly normal. Image of something that's caught in the photo. Alright, got that going. Do a quick save, then we go through the other door at the end of the rope hallway. We should lead us around. And that music. Well, that ambient track. I'd hesitate to call it music, but that ambient track is so just like... That's the first thing you hear in the first room of the first Fatal Frame, and it's just like... Mm. It's just hard-coded into me, like... That's... That's the sound of Fatal Frame 1 to me, just that track. Yeah, it's got plenty of other tracks, and like, the soundtrack track in general is great, as is this one, like... Again, wouldn't necessarily call it music, but it's great ambience, it's great ghost sound design, like, I love it. But that one ambient track to me is just straight up, that's Silent Hill. Oh, that's Fatal Frame. <laughs> that's not Silent Hill. Silent Hill... Weirdly enough, I tend to think of the lyrical music for Silent Hill, which isn't actually featured in Silent Hill often. Some cut, some cut scenes in 3 and 2. Oh, this is where this thing goes? Wow. i hold on to that for a while. Okay. It's gonna take a little trial and error, isn't it? Yeah, gotta be that one first. Gotta be that one second. That one third. No, I did this wrong. I've made mistakes. Yeah. Alright, well. This'll do it. Yep, as soon as I saw where the bottleneck was, it's a bit easier. Yeah. I'm surprised I don't remember the solution to those after all this time. Okay, that was why I was trying to come this way, because this was clearly the room we could see into. So we do want type 14. He does. Was that another ghost? Oh, jeez, that was another ghost. Okay, we need type 14, and we need to just get rid of some of these guys. So you go away. You go away. Stay away from Axe guy. If the littler guys hit us, it's actually not that big a deal. Really don't want to get axed, though. Or sawed. I think it's a carpenter's saw. Still missed him, which means he's gonna get us. Yep. Oh, goodness. We've got some healing. We have picked up a few healing items. A few, yep. But still shame on me for getting hit. Okay, good. We gotta take him down. He's just calling in allies at this rate. Well, that was kind of lame, but that's me. Mm, got another guy up, and we are now surrounded. Exactly what I don't want to happen. I want to keep Axe guy in sight, Saw guy in sight. Yeah! Okay, that wasn't too bad. We only took one hit. Wasted a few shots, though. An old book has been left behind where the ghost was. After the unleashing happened, the priestess who had wandered loose from the Chamber of Thorns roamed about the manor as if in a dream. 
Those passages the priestess entered were engulfed by the rift and fell into darkness. The rift shrine is a hidden shrine that ensures that the priestess wanders forever and never escapes, and the rift does not spill forth. So, the tattooed priestess seems to be... They want to keep the rift at bay. Whatever the rift is, it's bad. Amorphous bad thing. To do that, they perform a ritual on the priestess, which makes her roam forever. So they stake her down, which we saw in the initial bit, the hands and legs getting staked by the state girls. But she got out. To make sure the rift doesn't get out, they locked everything within a dream world, which is where we clearly are. But she seems to be leaking into the real world, which is how we saw her in a daydream. That seems to be the case. Broken the four seals. Will the door open now? I don't know, but I'm going to check this room for stuff first to be sure. Maybe there's ammo or something. Or sacred water. Yeah. That's the one. Whatever might be around that could be useful to us. Probably just the sacred water, but... Alright, we're not too far where we want to go back to. I'm not going to save again, because that was pretty okay, and I'm not too worried. If they make us find another ghost here, I'll save, but I think we're okay. And we're doing alright on time. Looks like we might only make it through two full chapters tonight, but maybe we'll get a Miku one. Hers tend to be a little shorter. Though not always. Then once she can get to the the mansion proper, which I think she ended off doing, it opens up quite a bit. I think we just go up the main center one, right? Main center one, through that door, yep. Pretty sure we gotta fight the head guy who was chasing those four. But I know the direction we at least gotta go in. Pretty sure we gotta fight him too. But either way, he'll be over here. And if not, either way, over here is the right way. See, if I just paid attention to the fact that that door was no longer being sealed shut, I could've... Uh, could've sped this up quite a bit with less backtracking, but... Whatevs. Too late. Yada, but a hot guy came out instead of a bunch of mail like you thought. Yeah, mm hmm. Info actually got them 70%. Oh no. That'll, that'll add up, yeah. My phone tends to. We 16 now. I have a bad habit of just letting it fall pretty low and then charging it overnight. Uh oh, controller? Controller, why you do this? <laughs> Alright, cool, it's working. Must have just jiggled the cable the weird way. Oh, there we go. It must not be open. That priestess, the shrine must be sealed. Yeah, that's pretty much everybody's reaction. It's like, wait, he's hot? <laughs> and even more of the tattoo. Definitely not just on the back anymore. Yeah, we still got spooky sounds. And a phone ringing in night time? I don't know if it's implied to be night just because she woke up. Like, I feel like day and night in this game start to lose meaning as time goes on in the real world. Who could possibly be calling in the middle of the night? Something good, I'm sure. Always good news. Late night phone calls, always yes. good news. Kurosawa speaking?
I should have died. Yeah, perfectly normal. Let me out, let me out, let me out. I should have died. That's a... That's a late night phone call. Um... Kitty, are you sleeping on the remote? Kitty? Kitty? Could you never do that again, please, Kitty? I feel like it sounds slightly more... No, the ambience is still there, but I don't know if it's any more or less. That is an inappropriate show, oh, man. Um, I know what that means. It's just a matter of where that means, I guess. Oh. Um. Mm-hmm. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Where did she go? Why is plain lady in my house? Definitely like one-off sounds happening. Dark room usually doesn't have any weird music in it, oddly enough. Like the ambience, oh! I think I should leave the dark room. I think there's no need for us to be in the dark room. Whatsoever. Nope. The dark room can be left behind. We can leave the dark room. Mm-hmm. Yep, no, it's okay. Cool. Um, yep, thanks, game. Nothing quite like stuff from your nightmares making it into your physical reality. To really, uh, mess you up a smidge. And yeah, see... There's some spots where it's louder. You step out of there? No. Same with when we go by the, the dryer. Or the, the fridge. It's more subtle, but there's more to it. It's just that little extra layer of static. That one's way more noticeable. Well, I'm sure it's fine. I'm sure everything's normal and hunky dory and cool. I'm gonna go back to sleep. Is some BS. Save the game and go to some sleep. I don't know who's next. It might be Miku, might be back to the dude. Not really sure. But it should be the next night now. And we should get the next night. All right, not much of that one. Hmm, that looks like a priestess. That looks like, um... Miku. Seven, the hanging prison. Hour seven.
Ah, something else for the real world. Like, wouldn't Miku... Hey, you want pizza? Thank you, Sora. Much appreciated. Wouldn't Miku notice if we go to develop that photo and then hand it to Miku in the real world and be like, can you look into this? And she's like, I took that photo in a dream. The pedestal of four indentations. It's an ancient script engraved in the pedestal. Obtain the four purity stones by the handmaiden song Subdue the Waking of the Priestess in the Chamber of Needles. Man, a very few series of words sound worse to me than the Chamber of Needles. There are several... <laughs> Well, there are several candles in the inner wall where a tattooed human skin is enshrined. I've seen copies of body tattoos in books, but this looks like real skin. The skin is worn and in shreds, but the pattern of the tattoo is clear and unfaded. It looks like the limbs have been nailed to the wall with sharp stone spikes. That's just glorious, isn't it? Actual human skin, you know, laid, enshrined. It's normal stuff. Normal, everyday shenanigans, even. Yeah, I feel like October is definitely the... I was about to call the entire month of October Halloween, by the way. I was about to say Halloween is the month of... It's definitely going to be a pizza-tastic month. I also get plenty of pizza when I'm playing Path of Exile lately, because I'm in mid to high red tier maps, and boy do maps drop constantly in mid to high red tier maps. It's just pizza, 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 pizza everywhere. Pretty sure going up here is a dead end for her, but like, just to not have to worry about backtracking to come and grab it, we're going to head up here and just make sure for now I don't think she needs anything up here really don't but like I'd hate to have this be the linchpin that I have to go back for I may as well try it while we're here also we should have a bunch of points for a camera right no lenses but that's fine Shut up a range a smidge. Some amount of range. I don't think you're really meant to max out any one can- uh, I really don't want to fight another one of those things in here. I'm just going to check the door. If it's something else, it'll be fine. Cool. Door is tightly sealed. Goodbye. The problem is, the game has already reminded me of one other ghost she has to fight. And I know she fights it first, if not exclusively. I just don't remember when she fights it. I actually remember the exact room she fights it. But I don't remember like what chapter went about through the game she does. I don't really want to go through here right now, do I? Yeah, I can once again check this area off, I guess. We're, I don't think there are going to be any direct hints as to where to go. Let's just go loop around too. Not much we can do over there. Hmm... For now, I'm going to continue on, because in her storyline, she's already looked through all this stuff. So, I'm going to continue on out this way, the direction she hasn't really gone through, and hope the game goes, here's a hint, ghosty here, Viper go here too. But also, grab some stuff first. Yeah, you can really start to hear that lullaby, like, everywhere. Among Us Beta added some things? Oh, I didn't know I had a beta. Anonymous voting. Okay. I feel like I really like seeing who votes for people, but I feel like that's still a cool option. Like, 
hell yeah options. And I'm sure people use that for some fun modes too. Oh. Mm. Things I don't enjoy. You can already hear like kids singing and chanting in, um, in the distance. So is, are they saying, I missed the text? I think they're saying that's where the sound seems to be coming from. Well, on the walls, an open door leading under the floor. It's pretty narrow, but maybe I can squeeze through. I love this segment. Nothing like a really tight... Also added an option to hide the taskbar. Interesting. So you can force so for hide and seek, somebody doesn't have to hack the thing, you can just straight hide it. Special ability double. Oh, double's so good. If I recall correctly. Yep. Charge your spirit power twice. When shooting, if you continue pressing the cross button, you can charge your spirit power into stages. Shoot by release. So you can charge your shot. The greater the charge, the greater the damage you can inflict. So the higher your level, the faster your second charge. You can literally charge a shot. She's so damaged. Oh, I really don't want to go through here. Spoilers, this area it's spooky. God, I hate this game. Now we're locked in. Cool. And we've got a ghost. And we've got a ghost. Which I can't really turn to see right now. But I can. Oh, that's the one! God, it's just such a creepy ghost. That's fast, and I hate it. I'm bad at fighting it. Yeah, this ghost is something, yo. Know? Not even trying to back away either. Just the spider limbs and everything. Nope. Damn it! Thought it's slower, but nope. Stop vanishing on me. That's actively cheating! We're gonna die here. <laughs> we are straight up gonna die here. Mm -hmm. Okay. We've got enough health that we can kick back, I guess. Damn it, that would have been a great time for that. Also, I should probably use Type 14, at least get the damage if I can. That's where I hit that. Yeah, there's no room to maneuver. Got him, got him. Missed him. No! I missed the last one, but that one okay. Definitely hit that in time game. You don't have to fight this thing often because you can only really fight it in this room. But it sucks! It sucks a whole lot. Actually, there's like one more room like this, but. You can only really fight it in these rooms. Man, jump the gun, cut the damage. Well, nope. I keep hitting triangle when I mean to hit circle. Okay, cool, got that. And there's a blue thing somewhere. Is it here? I want to find that blue thing before I leave, but I really hope a second one of those doesn't spawn, because that would really be super not great for me. Uh, it's this side. It's definitely over here. Maybe I can only do it when I open whatever this is.
The doll altar. Purity stone, L blue. The stone has been polished to a sheen. Inside I can see a light blue glow. All right. There's a book on the altar. Green diary. Amane led a man into the shrine. The head of the family is so angry. If the priestess wakes up, the commandment will be broken and the rift will spread. The family head teaches all the handmaidens so hard that they won't forget their duties. The head of the family ordered that Amane be impaled and that her brother be cast out of the manor. Because of the duties of the handmaidens and the duties of the Kuze shrine, there was no other choice. Amine, I'm sorry. Your Amane, sorry. Pretty sure... No. Oh. Yeah, well, thematically, of course, one of these would spawn in here. Like, makes sense. I'm trying to charge up that second level of goodness, yo. Charging my shotgun, yo. There it is. Yeah, there it was. I missed that, but... Anything that ends up giving you time to build up them runes... You were close! I was, wasn't I? Close enough. Yeah, that's about all it takes. Easy peasy, GG, all that. Alright. It's still a little too tight for my liking. Where is that heckin'? Oh, oh. That way. Definitively, like, right over there. But you know, if the game's gonna be like, nah, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna look around for it that long. Hmm, more festive decorations and a new room. Mmm. So festive. Definitely what you want to see when you enter a new room, right? Like, that's what I'm looking for when I enter a room. Mm. All hanging, just an inch or so up over the floor. Oh, okay, so now I know where we're looking for here, at least. Another one to look out for outside of here. Now, they're clearly supposed to be holding something, though. Oh, oh, that's what this connects to. Interesting, okay. I guess this door is open now? Yep, it's open now. That's fine. Don't worry about it. Everything's okay. These things move way too quick to be in these small places. That's fine. That's teleporting. Oh. Suddenly you're there. Okay. But that was a... Fine. It was a better shot than that game, but that's okay. I keep missing the fatal frame. No! Nope, that's cheating too. Not supposed to do two in a row. I was on the wrong film type too. Uh oh. Fail frame is such a small moment. 
still live in that land somewhere. Oh, come on. Well, we're not doing great. But she's not hitting us either, so that's something. Not a skill based battle, but we did it, so whatever. Um, can't throw another thing at me right away, right? You wouldn't. Looking at something. Oh, there's something on the other side, I bet. Gonna also guess we can't go through here, but I'm gonna check it. Anyway, yep, sealed by the power. That's cool. Kind of his place, his jam. Also, considering he's supposed to still be in there in all technicality, I guess we really can't go in there. Like, that's his like restore point so far for where he left off. Yes, and please, and thank you, herbal medicine. Definitely this sounded like something out. Oh hey, a shiny. Purple Diary 2. His parting gift was a forbidden child. The child had handsome features, just like he did. If he stays in this place, they'll cast him away once he turns four. I have to find a way to sneak him into the village below before then. If I give him the earnings his father gave me, I'm sure someday he'll be able to come back. He'll be able to hear my voice. I may even be able to see his father again if he finds this earring. I'll name the child Kaname to symbolize our connection. I know this child will come back with his father. Purple Diary. Do we know anyone named Kaname at this rate? I don't think so. I don't recall reading about one either. I think this door stays locked for ways. Yeah. I don't think that's one that opens up soon. This leads us to that weird... Yeah, that pathway. Which I don't think she needs to go to. If the game tries to hint I need to go there, I'll go there. But, like, I don't think so. Still weird to see hair nailed to a wall like that. Just like not what you do. Tell me for whom do you fight? We're missing a deep so voice narrator, clear. clearly. And do you believe in Eorzea? Eorzea's it's what's been missing. Has forged of falsehoods. Its city states are built on deceit, and its faith is an instrument of deception. It is not but a cobweb of lies. To believe in Eorzea is to I'm believe. I don't remember the in other nothing. areas. In Eorzea, the beast Better for her. Summon gods to fight in their stead. Not that one. Though your comrades only rarely respond in kind, which is strange, is it not? Are the twelve otherwise engaged? I was given it's to another area around that she can. Protectors. I know she can use. If you truly believe them, your guardians, why do you not repeat the trick that served you so well at Cartago? It's that one, no. Maybe it's that they one. They will answer. So long as you lavish them with crystals and gorge them on ether, your gods um. are no different from those of the beasts. Icons, everyone, except for this. And you will see how your That's the sound of a ghost. There's nothing here. These false deities. What drives even men of learning, even the great Louis Swan, to grovel at their feet? The answer? Your masters lack the strength to do otherwise. For the world of man to mean anything, man must own the world. Okay, sure. I got no excuse explanation for that, but that happened. To grow rich through conquest, and when the dust of battle settles, 
It is oh, never the strong who dictate the fate of the weak. Knowing this, but a single path is open to the impotent ruler. That a false word. been there once. A I'll see if I can remember how to get there. And death. Only a man of power can I don't know if I remember how to get there. Of civilization. And in this land of creeping mendacity, that one truth will prove its salvation. Come, champion of Eorzea. Face me, your defeat shall serve as proof of my readiness to rule. It is only right that I should take your realm, for none among you has the power to stop me. It seeming like maybe every one of these, like, staked doll rooms might have something, so I'm going to check this one. Because we entered one accidentally, but you know. Okay. So with this one behind that door that we just got the picture for. I don't remember where the last one is. But we needed four stones. I think I remember where the other one is only because of... There's areas only she can go. I don't remember where the other room is, but I remember there's another area only she can traverse. It's probably there. If I want to go through the projector room, but it would cross something off our list of like, no, uh, I'll go through there if I have to, but it's just a loop around to this place, which is where I think I need to go. I'll work on this place first. It's, I look forward to trying out Blaze Blue, but I'm definitely going to be a decent way behind the curve at this rate. Like, for sure, I look forward to trying it out. It, the character select screen was large, so there's definitely going to be quite a few to mess around with. That'll be fine. Yeah. Where's that? I don't remember where the room is that looks down into the other room where I'm going to take that picture. Since I don't remember that yet, I'm going to head to this one, because this is the room... Uh, yep, the other door. It's both the room I don't want to do, and the one that I know where it is. But I don't want to do it. Yep. It's down here. Only So only she can go to the places where... It's too small for anyone else to fit, and only K can move things, because he's a big, strong man. Nobody else can push things. Uh, Ray is just kind of the default, so I remember this from earlier being too short, which unfortunately means we all know what's going to be under here, right? Like, there's, there's only some areas in the game where you'll be able to fight one of these things. This is one of them. Yep. Come on. I don't have a lot of that charge left. Damn it. Oh, that ruined my time. Too early, but we staggered her. Too early, but we staggered her. Don't teleport, don't teleport, good. So quick! Alright. Yeah, but the shotgun camera needs a little bit of time to charge up, and she doesn't give you that. Oh, she's behind me. Nope, she's on the roof. Ah, 
harvest. <sighs> okay, okay, okay. She doesn't do a ton of damage. Oh. Just trying to do that shotgun charge. Just trying to get fancy, and I, I didn't do it. low on film, very low on health, but we got medicine. Also, hey Zelf, how are you doing tonight? Welcome to Viperland in the chat, thank you for the raid! How goes things? How was your stream? Um, I'm gonna assume Smash, only because I see you play a lot of Smash lately, but I don't actually know what you're streaming. But how did it go? And hello to you and all the raiders coming by. Ooh, we got another stone mirror. Oh, those are so good. I hope to not need one. But if we need one, I'll be happy to have it. It's a extra life. So, really helpful to have. Yep, here's this room, and so then we just gotta find the photo of the other room, and we're doing okay. Smash went for an hour longer. For an hour long DK streak, hell yeah. That sounds like fun. DK is a fun character to play as. My mother told me that I have an older brother. His name is Kaname, and he lives in a house on the outside. In the Kuze house, they throw away boys, so he was sent outside. She told me many times that this was a secret. My brother has the same earring as my mother. They're beautiful earrings that she got from father. Mother gave it to him so that no matter where he is, he can hear her voice. I wonder if he can hear my voice too. I want to see him. Reika was made into a priestess. I help take care of the priestess. She tells me about the outside. She says when she, ta yeah, when she talks, the pain isn't as bad. I'm glad that I can be of some help. The priestess has an earring, just like Mother's. She says it was a present from a good friend. So that she can hear his voice no matter where she is. I think that friend is Kaname. The priestess talks about him a lot. The priestess seems kind of lonely. Mm. Yep, all setting up for things going bad for priestess. Oh, we gotta go back through here. Oh, or do we? Aha, uh -huh. lock unlocked. The hell are we now? E1 Grand Staircase. I actually don't know where we are now. We're he oh, we're here! Okay, cool, cool. More film. Also, while we're here, there we go. Get a heckin' shout out going. Yeah, we're only going for like another half hour, but oh, oh, doubles. Okay. Yeah, because she has the better camera, she constantly has to fight the harder stuff. But she's better prepared to deal. Oh, they're behind me. They're definitely behind me. Both of them trying to stable my feet to the ground. But with two ghosts, uh, it charges your stuff faster. Also, this game doesn't handle verticality super greatly. So I really do need to try to get on like a solid floor, but I don't think we have one of those in this room. Oh, we do. We do. But I can't let go of my charge. I charged up my gun. I gotta... Gotta use it, yeah. Okay, now it's fully charged. We just need one of them to show up so I can blast... Oh! Show up better. I don't want to waste the shot on a mediocre hit. Come on. Oh, both of you in this... Oh. Come on. No, stop circling around me. Yes, yes. That's the one. One of them's dead. The other is right underneath me. Oh, I forgot to let the outside stuff charge up first. So I'm not going to get a full hit out of this. It's actually going to be a garbage shot. So let's waste one of these. There you go, waste that instead.
See, now we got that bar filling up. That's what we need. One big honking shot right there. Alright. We just needed flat ground. Oh, this is where we look down, isn't it? Oh, tell me it's the right one. It's not. I knew it wasn't going to be the right one. It just came from that room. So there's another spot to look down that we need. And I don't remember where it is. That's the problem. We're back here. This the other spot that looks down. As soon as I remember where that is, I'll know where we're going. to be able to continue on. I think it was above... The tattoo altar? Nothing above the tattoo altar. Not that. Some room we go up to. None of those. There's hallway, second floor. Not up. Is it up there though? Is it in that room? The wooden figure room. It might be through the wooden figure room. Yeah, that might be the one. A little ways away, but we're not impossibly far. Okay, we're a little ways away, but like we'll make it. I have a potential goal. Gonna head, even though this isn't the right way, I'm going to head up here to save. Grab that on the way back down, I guess. Oh, well. Maybe we won't be saving yet. Oh, okay, I know who it is. Yep. Oh, it's both of them. Okay. Damn it. No second shot for me. Did nothing of the sort, little girl. Trying to get a charge. Oh, only a shutter chance. Alright. Trying to charge up shots, but it's not the easiest thing to charge on. Um, oh, she's behind me. Okay. Well, because I missed that one, I can start charging towards the next. Yes, 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 gonna be good. That's the one. That's the one, yeah. Holy moly. Some shots are just uh, good shots. Lots of points. You know. Mm -hmm. can't upgrade max value anymore yet. We can do sensitivity. It does get it to that point quicker, so it's probably worth it. And now we gotta save up the big points. Alright. I kinda like how her camera doesn't get the, the lenses or the alternate power. She just gets strength. I'm pretty sure she had lenses in the original game. They definitely expanded on them in the second, but I'm pretty sure the first had them. But I, I like that they make each character, even in combat, feel a little distinct. Big snake points, yeah. Get that big snake shotgun blast. And then big points. Very nice to get. I'm definitely not, like, actively going for most points. I'm just going for, like, decent damage and stuff. Which does tend to overlap, but... There's probably ways to get more points that I'm just not doing. Heck do I get back where I'm going? I know the area I need to be, but it's just a ways away. I don't think there's a shortcut to there, I think it's just... Take the direct route. 
most direct way I can. Some film, maybe? Some film, maybe? Nope. Stairs isn't it? It's gotta be down here. I'm trying to do. I'm trying not to check the map every few seconds, but also not get lost. So this should bring me through the courtyard. Oh, okay, it brings me through. Yeah, the figure room. Yep. has a door that leads us out of the courtyard. And booking it on through. Then I'm gonna have to remember where those four stones were. No, I remember that room. Nobody else could get to that room, so it's kind of memorable. Like, I'm sure somebody else can eventually, but... From here, how do I get there? Straight forward up. Okay, cool. Sadly, we will have to go all the way back to wherever that door opened. Oh no, I know where the door opened. It's not that far away. It's one of the most unpleasant feelings I think I've ever had in my entire life. I was about to sneeze, but the sound of that ghost being activated, even though I'd already muted my keyboard, panicked me out of that sneeze. Oh, that was unpleasant as heck. Literally just about to sneeze, but just hearing that, the like the just stopped it in its tracks. That's super just an unwelcome feeling body. Could you never do that again? Super weird. Super weird. Would not recommend. For what it's worth, I don't in any way feel like I have to sneeze anymore. At all. Uh, that feeling is gone. I should probably... I'm not going to blow my nose, though. Give me a second. Like, I've had sneezes, I've had that feeling where I kind of had to sneeze, and then it goes away before you sneeze, like, oh, that's unfortunate, that's weird. Well, this was, like, jolted out of it, that was, oh, weird feeling. Wow, we're getting the good shot on this. Where are you? We're getting damage. We're getting damage. Uh, don't throw your hair as a projectile, no, we're ready for you. Come on. Where does she teleport to? That's cheating. Oh, you're gonna throw your hair? She knows I got the shot ready, is what it is, clearly. That's the one. There you go. You Working DPS job. Photographer, yeah. Just because you can't do it doesn't make it cheating. <laughs> um, no. Clearly, clearly it does. If I can't do it and anybody else can, it's cheating. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, I've got to walk through all this, but at least I know i got to walk, or I'm pretty sure I have to walk through all this. It's not doing it for nothing. I'm pretty sure I actually do have to do this. Or I picked the wrong room and... Welp. But I'm pretty sure this is the one. Pretty sure. Stay here. Okay. 
Okay, yeah. It's the right one. I mean, I was already most of the way across, but confirmation. I mean, I don't think it would work in 14, but how interesting would it be if they tried to implement a uh, a first-person exclusive like DPS class? Like you had to play in first person. I don't think it would work. I think it's a bad idea, but I think it would be interesting. Oh, time to leave. So I I don't remember the quickest path to where I'm going, but I know where I'm going. DPS class painter. That, oh, that is mm, fair. Yeah, it is definitely similar to Terra. See, now we can start charging the shotgun from a further range. Oh, where did we go? Oh. Shotgun is charged. Got her. I shouldn't have. That should have missed. But like, when things work out and you get that that. Pretty much one shot kill, like it was a combo, but it was a one shot kill. It just paint paintings. Yeah, it would be interesting. Yeah. An art based crap. Uh, cl English. Art based class. That would be cool. I think it would be difficult for them to add a new crafter, but I'd be okay with it. A new crafter gatherer, I'd totally dig. But they'd have to. It's not like one of those ones where you can. Well, I guess you could start earlier. I start later, but I feel like you'd have to level it from base, but maybe not. Maybe not. So, who knows? Maybe they could make it start at level 50, 60, 70, whatever. I'm oddly excited for higher level Blue Mage for somebody who hasn't dabbled in Blue Mage at all. I just think that's adding more to Blue Mage is a cool concept, and I'm glad they're doing it. Yes, it seems like it's going to continue to lag behind main battle classes, but. I'm glad it's not just straight up being ignored. It wasn't something they just added and went, cool, we're done now. They went, no, we're going to keep doing this. I think that's cool. Also just curious to see what, like, Shadowbringers or Stormblood stuff might be added to it. Oh, I'm sure. Seth is Seth is 110% all about the memes. And there is no class memeier than Blue Mage. Damn it, I thought I had to go through that door. Alright, uh, you guys stay over here. We're gonna leave. Bye. Content, not a real job. Yeah, but it's still cool content in my opinion. I'm glad they're adding more to it. Even though I don't play it, like, at all. Okay, here's the room. Over here. This door is open now. Yeah, that's understandable. Alright, so that should be all of those jewels. Old book written red cover on the altar. Red Diary. Amane led a man into the Kuze Shrine. The man woke the priestess from her dream. The Kuze Code must be followed. She must be punished by impalement. See, she must not let go. Alright, jewel that I found in the room with the impaled doll should fit perfectly in one of the intonations on the altar. Yes, and we have all of them. Just gotta get back to the altar. I need to get to that room, so it's just... Okay, it's just down there. And we passed by a save point along the way, just in case things go bottoms up. You know, maybe we're making more progress tonight than I expected. I think her stuff ends after... Well, her chapter ends after we put all those in. Maybe, like, a fight or, like, a small thing. But, like, that's the goal of this chapter. 
So we're, I feel like we're making decent part. Isn't that where we went? I gotta go the other way. Okay. A minor inconvenience, but... Forgot that door is locked. It's, it leads to the room we need to go to, it's just not one we can take it. It would be cool to have a more minion base. Like, you have summoners and they have pets. It would be interesting to have a more... Yes, I am going to be playing this more tomorrow. If we don't finish this tomorrow and we're close, we're going to top it off on Friday. If we don't finish this tomorrow and we've got a ways to go, we're probably going to do more of it Sunday because I have plans for Friday. Somebody's using a Viper ticket, which will either be for Friday or Sunday, depending on how close we are to finishing this. Is the short version, I guess. But tomorrow, yes. And then the rest of the week we have kind of other stuff set until the weekend, or until Friday or so. I had to run all the way around for this door to get to the same room. I, I don't remember exactly how long the game is, and clearly me getting lost a lot is not helpful. I kind of get the feeling we'll need more than just tomorrow. Nope. That's fine. No thanks. No problem. Alright. I don't know if these go in a particular order. Or if they... Yeah, they do. Orientation. Ancient script. By the handmaiden song, subdue the waking of the priestess and the chamber angels. Yes. Okay, that's why. It's music based. That's green, right? Nope. Nope. Okay, so we know that's the first one. Green. That one. There we go. I'll let it play the whole way through once. We only hear clip it's the first bit, usually. Handmaiden's song resounds through the area. The mechanism begins to move, and the suspended cell is raised upwards. I should be able to enter from the upper level. Upper level is just up the stairs, I assume? We'll just try that. If it's not that, I'll be confused. Oh? Blue Diary 2. Kan Kaname snuck in with the people who came to ease their pains. He said he wants to see the priestess just once. It's against the code, but as she's going to be ha as she's going to have to perform the rite of commandment soon, she won't be able to leave again. I want to help them meet just once. Kaname went into the shrine, to the priestess's place. Men cannot go into the shrine. I'm sure the mistress will be upset. <laughs> yes. Mm, yep, that's, uh, hands and a big load of damage. All right. See you around, mate. Thanks for hopping by. Hope you enjoyed ghosty goodness. Now let's see if we can actually beat this thing. Oh, I didn't mean to slow things down there. I should really save that. So I'm pretty sure we can actually, yeah, we can actually fight it. The guy just sucks. We can fight it. and try to charge up that good shot. Oh, 
Uh, oh! Damn it! Oh, he's such a tricky bugger. I need to make sure to really not get hit by him either. He's gonna take damage when I can get it. This guy is actually a temptation to use like better film on, but I should be okay. I should be, but I'm tempted to use slightly better film on him. Did I really miss it? No. I hit the shutter chance, missed the fatal frame. Mm, not cool, not cool. Good. 98 points of damage, that's fine. Not nearly enough, but it's actually okay. That was supposed to be a good time to hit you. I missed it. Missed it again. I'm pretty sure I can't just run away from this one. You were close. Uh, not quite close enough, but close. Fully charged. Like, the Fatal Frame times are just so... weird. Did I get it? Yes, I did. Fully shotgun, Fatal Frame. Not shabby. That was not a smooth... Oh yeah, we had to do that. That was storyline. Oh boy, alright. I feel like we'll do one lap of the house and call it, because it's almost 2am, but like... We made it through three chapters. We made it through one of each character. That's not terrible. We got some film to develop. We can do a lap of the house real quick. See if there's spoopies. Also gonna save after that. That was close. I could do it again. I don't want to do it again. Yeah, a fully charged shotgun blast with Miku with the best film. Mm. Conversely, missing that shot would be true pain and suffering. Hitting it's great. All right, no staticky stuff here. It's weird that that spot has extra sounds. Switch back to the guy. Ugh. Yeah. I don't know whether he's next. Oh, that's just closed now, isn't it? I don't remember if he's next or if it's more Ray. Legitimately don't. He does nothing. Like, at all. He is the useless command. Yep, to go dead. It's just come out of a pair of Buddha statues that were in the room with many sacks hanging. <laughs> sacks. Can I figure anything out for these statues? Looks like the tattooed skin on the altar. On it, I can make out a kind of snake-like pattern. Maybe I can figure something out for this design. An image has emerged of the woman who is on all fours beneath the floor. I can't see her face. Was she someone who had gone missing too? And all the films developed. Yeah, no film to develop. I'll see if we can talk to Miku about it, but I don't really know how days are passing at this rate. So I'm not really sure in oh, in game how long it might take her for anything.
Let's see, I remember that spot playing more sounds in the OG, like, non-emulated version, too. So, like, that's that's a thing. I just don't remember if it means anything or if it's just there to make you go, that's weird. Mafuyu, oh no. Miku? Oh no, it's nothing. I just had another bad dream. Yeah. Oh. You had a dream so bad that we talked to you and woke up? Well, I mean, it's daytime again. That makes me think... Wait, no, we just did her chapter. I was gonna say, that makes me think she'd get another chapter, but maybe it's just because we finished hers. Good morning, Ray. Ray? Here. Ray, I was interested myself, so I did some research on that lullaby. You're interested in it too, right? Legend of Song. In the mountains of the Mutsu region, there is an old lullaby that was only passed on to certain villages. The Sleeping Priestess, verse 1. We've heard it all before. Oh no, if you cry, the boat you'll ride, the boat to the other side. Once you get there, the bib you shall wear, and you will be punished should you fail to lie still. Within the same mountain chain, the song The Sleeping Priestess was only transmitted to a certain number of villages. The decimation is thought to be dependent on elements such as the villages, roads, and locations. As the usage of the word priestess implies, this song is thought to have its origin in indigenous folk rites, given its method of transmission. As for the lyrics themselves, the opening line, Sleep child, go to sleep, calls the child into sleep. The next part, If you cry, the boat you ride, the boat to the other side, uses words like boat and other side, which is suggest suggested of banishment. It can be taken as a stanza of a threatening song, which is to frighten the child into sleep. Frighten into sleep is always, like, those are opposite things. The bibu shall wear can be used, uh, understood to depict you will be dressed up to go. After should you fall to lie still, the inclusion of the frightening words you will be punished. Impress ad uh, admon admission upon the child? Admonition? words. Perhaps as the once ceremonial song changed into a lullaby, it metamorphized into the threatening song so common in the Mutsu area. Sleeping Priestess verse 2. Sleep, go to sleep, sleep, go to sleep. If you should wake from your slumber at night, great wooden stakes shall pin you down tight, lest the doors open wide and the others that sleep wake too. Second verse develops into a very similar way and makes use of the same elements. If you should wake, threatens that if the priestess should wake during a ceremony, in the lullaby this means sleep, the woken priestess or child will have her limbs pinned by stakes. These great wooden stakes may be a remnant of a religious phrase. At the last part, lest the doors open wide and the others that sleep wake too, there's a shift from a familiar story centering on a priestess, child, to an uneasy end, both vague and large in scale. It is thought that this expresses religious fear, such as the dread of underworld. Thanks, I'll just borrow this for a bit. If you need anything else, just let me know. Nothing quite like spooky kid songs. It seems like you're having a lot of nightmares. Yeah, you too, for that matter. Are you okay? No, probably not, but neither are you. So it's fine. I... Is there something? Yeah. The research this photograph. Thanks for all your trouble. Only if you could research this photograph. These are tattoos, right? Alright, well, I'll see what I can find out. Thanks. Doing good researches. Thanks for your trouble. Understood. I'll let you know if I find anything. Alright. There's probably more we're supposed to do, but it's 2am, so we can do a pass the house next time, or we can just see if we can go to bed next time. We'll see. Whatever tomorrow brings. For now, saving. Yeah, thank you all for tuning in. Thank you all for watching. It's been a pretty good night. We got a little turned around in the first chapter of the night. A little turned around in the second chapter. I feel like Miku's chapter went pretty smooth. First two, a little bit of getting stuck, but turned around. Not stuck per se, I guess. But we also pulled it off. Making progress. We're on to chapter 8. I want to say that's probably 12 hours, just thematically. But I don't remember. 
and I don't want to look it up because we'll just keep going. Also, usually games are thematically you kind of realize when you're pretty close to the end. Yeah, thanks everybody for hopping in, being around. We had extra shoutouts of... Where was it? We had Potions gifting a heckin' sub to May. We had Velvet with some bits in the jar. And Zelf with a heckin' raid. Thank you everybody with the extra shoutouts and everybody just in chat, hanging out, being awesome. Tomorrow's more of this. Tuesday is 14. We'll probably start earlier with a possibility of a midday stream. I'd call it more a likelihood than a possibility, but we'll see when Tuesday comes up. Really kind of depends on my nephew being around and how loud he is. I want to start early. We'll find out. Uh, Wednesday, we're streaming a movie in the Discord. Thursday is me and Potions and Neo 2. Friday is either more of this or Risky's Ticket. We'll figure out what Friday is based off of how tomorrow goes, so I can't say for sure yet. But I'll update that when we get to it. So yeah, let's see if there's anyone we can raid. I know Peko's not going. We know Zelf's not going because they raided us. Let's see if anyone's going that we can raid. No one. Okay. Well, uh, we'll see about Saturday. I don't think I have anything set for Saturday. Why do I have the feeling I had something set for Saturday? We'll see. Maybe that'll be... Yeah. Tentatively, yes, Grim. Unless I remember, like, I had something planned. I don't think so. Skullgirl Saturday. I think the only other Saturday I had direct plans for was the... The Splatfest. So, tentatively, yes, but I don't want to absolutely commit to that now in case I'm like, oh no, I was going to do this. Tentative, yes, though. For a fighting game, not Smash, because we did that one last time, it'll be something. Either Skullgirls or Guilty Gear, probably. Or Blazblue. Yes. Uh, oh, the Splatfest, I think, is a 48-hour one? Friday into Saturday? I think. I'd have to double-check that. I would probably end up doing it that Friday, though, but we'll see is the whole point. Uh, for now, though, we've got ourselves a monster, a quote, a discord, and, uh, do you know what? You were close. It fits. It fits. Thank you all for tuning in. Thank you all for watching. This has been Viper S for Viperland, and I'll see you all next time.